Hello everyone, this is Baum and welcome to episode 7 of this Let's Play the Necromod. In the previous episode we made a new armor set and this time around it won't take us too long to craft a new one again. The only thing we have to do is to kill this shiny dragon a couple times and gather some more Saveru skills. This could take quite some time so see you in a bit. Alright, that took longer than expected but now we have more than a hundred Saveru skills which should be oodles for the armor set. But I found a bit more than needed so we can craft the dragon wings at some point too. But back to the mythical dragon armor set. Now that we have enough saber skills we need to fight our good old buddy the eater of worlds again. Because we also need the shadow armor. So off we go. Cool. I'd like to have one eater of worlds please. Thank you. Fantastic, we've killed two Eaters of Worlds and we should have got enough materials for the Shadow Armor. Alright, so first off we need a lot of Demonite Bars. Sweet! Then we go over here and craft the Shadow Armor. Then we take a few steps to the right so that we stand next to the Demon Shrine and now we are able to craft a badass Dragon Armor. Awesome! And we still have 56 Saber Scales left. So let's equip it and have a look at my badassery. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> the stats of the mythical dragon armor set. Mythical dragon helm. 9 defense, it's a material, adds thorns buff and the set bonus provides minus 5% mana usage and plus 20% movement speed. Mythical dragon chest piece. 9 defense and apparently it's a vanity set. And mythical dragon leggings. 8 defense. So is this actually an upgrade? Corrupted Steel Helm, 7 defense plus 5% magic damage and it also has the thorns buff. The dragon armor also has a tiny bit more defense so I guess overall a slight upgrade? Yeah, <laughs> probably. Reinforced Mythical Dragon Armor, Reinforced Dragon Scale and Corrupted Steel Bars. So yeah, it requires stuff we don't have just yet. Now that we don't need the Corrupted Steel Armor anymore, we can place it here on one of these mannequins. We didn't have this armor for too long, but it served us in a fight against the Dragon Seiru. Before we continue our adventure, I want to craft this Seiru doll. I was lucky enough to get the Seiru doll pattern from the dragon, so I figured we should make use of it and craft another cute doll. And we are going to place it here on the table. No? Okay. Fine. It's not like that I wanted to place it there anyway. Here you have a new friend little Bobby. Ah, oh, I think they just got best friends. One day, when they grow up, they are going to take my place and rule this world. Ugh, what are you doing, Bomb? Don't be silly and get to work. So the next thing I really want to make is the Corrupted Steel Gungnir. I imagine that this could be a very useful weapon. It took quite a while to farm the Corrupted Steel or for the spear, so it better turns out that this is a good weapon. Alright, so our next goal is to trigger hard mode, I guess. I think we are done with the fluffy and cute pre hard mode and it's time to enhance our game and become the baddest badass there ever was. Wait, baddest badass? I think that's not quite right. I will become the goodest badass there ever was. Yeah, the goodest and bestest badass. Woo! Here we go again, Wall of Flesh, for the last time in Terraria 1.1.2. Well, not sure if it is the last time because I could need certain drops from you, but it's the last time I fight you to trigger hard mode.
There we go. Ooh, and I can see a warrior emblem right away. And a legendary pawn hammer. Hell to the yes. Alright, show yourselves new, evil, even stronger creatures of the underworld. I'm ready to face you. Probably not, but I want to see new stuff. Oh, what's that? Who's there? Oh my god. <laughs> it's Jason. Awesome. Finally, I know a reference. <laughs> Nice machete you've got there, Mr. Forhees. So, let's see who is the real serial killer here. There can only be one of us. And let me tell you something. You are going down. <laughs> okay, I've gone too far, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Did you drop something? A slasher mask? Ooh. 20 defense, that's a lot. I wonder if there's an armor or vanity set of Jason. That would be awesome. I'm quite happy that we've made this corrupted steel spear. It's really useful to deal some extra damage, especially when we encounter such hard and terrific enemies. Pissed off Pegasus? Man, I know you're upset about your lord, the piggy demon, but it's just unfair to play me for it and attack me like crazy. By the way, it's been quite a while since we last saw a piggy. I wonder where he is hiding. What the? Speak of the devil. <laughs> Get out of here, piggy. Your demon army will never defeat me. Okay, so I really want to make these dragon wings and in order to do so, we will have to make the demon wings first. Which, as we all know, requires souls of flight and night and some feathers from harpies. So I would suggest that we check the environment and look out for some floating islands. Ah, dang it. Of course I haven't brought a golden key with me. Whatever, I didn't want it to loot this chest anyway. So, pfft. Ooh, a modded enemy even up here. Stop. <laughs> Jesus, this harpy went full berserk on me. <laughs> oh, hi, another new NPC. What's up, Valkyrie? You don't seem to be impressed by any knockback of my weapons, which I don't really appreciate. Ah, oh, that fallen star has almost hit you, you lucky bastard. I have to admit that the hard mode enemies are really tough. Ooh, angel light. I've seen a couple of items which need this material. Awesome. Yay, our first wyvern. It took quite a while for you to spawn, mister, but I'm glad you showed up now. So let's murder this poor guy and steal his money and soul. Alright, now we've got 25 souls of flight, which should be enough for the demon wings, if I remember correctly. 25 souls of flight, 30 souls of night and 10 feathers. I'm pretty sure that's the crafting recipe. Anyways, now we have to go into the corrupted underground to farm sad souls of night. Before I get actually started with farming souls of night, I'm going to break all demon altars I can find of course. I don't know if we actually need any of the hard mode ores for modded items, but I'm going to do it anyway. What the hell is up with you? Wermole Beast Rider. Jeez, you are out of control, man. I'm not even sure if I want to fight you. You seem to be a pretty hard enemy. Ah, oh, come on. 1500 HP. <laughs> that seems to be totally reasonable. What? Are you serious? We only hit for one damage? Oh my god, this is going to take a while. Sure, and he hits me for 130 damage. <laughs> Why not? That is totally fair. So luckily the debuff of my weapon deals a good amount of damage. But this is still going to last forever. So see you in a bit or when I'm dead. <laughs> hmm, I wonder if an airstrike could help me. Here it comes. Ah, oh, you missed. Oh, he did not. <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> what the hell, man? The airstrike has completely destroyed this guy. <laughs> that was insane, man. All right, I think I have to call this episode here. I've been recording for a long time now and these hard mode enemies are giving me a hard time. So we are going to complete the Dragon Wings next episode and maybe even fight a new modded boss. We will see. 
So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me dabbling around. And as always, thanks for watching me. Have a great day. And stay awesome.